Hello and welcome to eNastava. This is an English lesson for the first grade of secondary school. Today's topic is describing a work of art. My name is Jelena and I'll be your teacher for the day. Dear students, today you will describe and present a painting of your choice. For today's lesson, you need your notebook, a writing utensil, and a computer or smartphone with internet connection. Bear in mind that you can pause this video lesson at any time to do the tasks required. As a warm up, let's think about and answer these questions. Why do people make art? Why do people buy art? What about you? Do you ever draw or paint? Why do you or why don't you? What kind of art do you like or dislike? Why do some paintings cost so much money? Do you know the names of any famous artists? If you do, whose names are you familiar with? Pause the video now and write the answers in your notebooks. Let's play a quiz on vocabulary related to art. You may learn some new words or revise the ones you already know. A public display of works of art held in an art gallery or museum. Is it a landscape? Is it an exhibition? A forefront? Or an artist? It's an exhibition. A piece of cloth that a picture is painted on. A landscape? An artist, canvas, or composition? Canvas is the correct answer. A picture showing scenery, usually nature. Landscape, canvas, forefront, or portrait? Landscape is the correct answer. A person who produces paintings or drawings as a profession or hobby. Artist, canvas, art gallery or exhibition. I'm sure you know this one. Artist is the correct one. A type of painting or drawing that shows inanimate objects, such as vases or bowls of fruit. Still life, composition, artist, or landscape. The Croatian translation would be Mrtva Priroda, still life in English. A quick drawing is a portrait, sketch, still life, or artist. The correct answer is sketch. A picture of a person, still life, Exhibition, portrait, or landscape? Portrait. How the picture is arranged? Composition, sketch, exhibition, or forefront? Composition. A room or building for the display or sale of works of art is called Artist, art gallery, landscape, or sketch. Art gallery. Subjects that are at the focus of the picture. Forefront, artist, portrait, or canvas. The correct answer is forefront. Game is over. Well done. Now, let's complete the sentences with the words we have just learned. Stop the video for a moment, copy the sentences and complete them. And let's check your answers now. The Renaissance artists had very few tools, pen and paper, paint and canvas. An interesting 
exhibition of modern art was held in my hometown. She prefers still life to landscape painting. He pa painted a portrait of his daughter. Each painting is signed by the artist himself. You can check your knowledge of art. There are two quizzes here. You can take the shorter one, the first one, or the longer one, the second one, or you can do both. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the paintings presented here. Do you know their names though? The first one is Mona Lisa. The next one is Starry Night. And the third one is The Scream. What about the gentlemen in these photographs? Can you recognize them? Do you know who they are? They are the authors or the painters who painted the previously shown paintings. Their names are Vincent van Gogh, Edward Monk, and Leonardo da Vinci. Now let's try to match these masterpieces to their creators. Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Starry Night is a masterpiece created by Vincent van Gogh. And The Scream was painted by Edward Monk. These three masterpieces have been listed among 100 world's most famous paintings. Go to the given website to find out what the remaining top 100 masterpieces are. Choose one painting to do a project work on it. Do a research on the chosen painting and compose a text about this masterpiece. Bear in mind that your text should contain information about the painting itself, such as when it was painted, which period it belongs to, which technique was used, what artistic features are visible in the painting, what it presents, and so on. Information about its author, the painter, include some interesting facts about him or her, and your opinion of it whether you like it or not, and why. Here are some sites that you can use for this research. Let's take a look at some useful vocabulary that may help you describe a piece of art. Firstly, answer the six questions. What is the title of the painting? Who painted it? When was it created? Where was it shown or exhibited? Why was the painting done? And how was it created? Next, observe the artwork carefully, scrutinizing and dissecting the following aspects. The type, colors, technique, surface, composition, Texture, lines, shapes, mood, style. You may want to pause this video lesson to study this list of words more closely. And finally, don't forget to include your opinion of the painting. Describe both the apparent, meaning the visible, or the hidden message or meaning in the painting. Here are some useful expressions. Practice reading your texts out loud and record yourselves presenting the painting using this free online tool. Then download the recording as a QR code. Now, for your information, Vocaro is indeed one of the simplest tools to use. However, it does not provide permanent storage 
and your recording might get deleted in a week or so. Therefore, I suggest you download it and save it on your own computer. You can upload your audio recording to your preferred online storage service, such as Google Drive or OneDrive, iCloud. Copy the link and convert it into QR code using any of the QR code generators available. Now it's time to create your online design. Go to canva.com, sign up there, and design your digital poster. Your poster should include the name of the painting and the author, the picture of the painting, five short hints or guidelines about the painting, the QR code of your recording, your full name, class and school. Then download the finished design as an image. Now it's time to assess your work before posting it online. Let's use my poster as an example and see whether it meets all the criteria mentioned earlier. My poster contains the name of the painting and the name of the painter. There is the image of the painting. There are five notes about the painting. There is the QR code of my voice recording. You can see my name and the name of the imaginary class, but there is no name of the school. Also, if you scan the QR code, you will notice that the text does not contain my opinion, so my work should be revised. Upload your finished poster on the Padlet wall here. Let's see how many students take up this challenge. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned something new. Stay well. Bye-bye.